Okay, y'all, this was a textbook uh, textbook fed day, right? Things work exactly as we thought. It's not that I'm some Nostradamus, but, you know, anytime that I get something right, I like to brag on myself because I rarely do. So today at 10.07, I said, I think we will experience a relief rally today because traders will be glad to have the announcement over. Regardless of what the Fed announced today, they would just, I mean, I don't know if y'all were like me. I just want to get it over with. Let's get our week on. Let's get this over with, then we'll deal with it. So I thought the relief rally would come after the announcement. Then tomorrow, the traders will have time to reflect on what actually happens. So what would, um, I said a tight range until the announcement, knee-jerk relief rally to the upside, followed by a big drop tomorrow. And that's just edited. And the reason is because, I don't know, it, it, it wasn't that I edited my, my thing. I edited, I don't know, I said one of my words. All right, so what the issue will be now is I think we're excited today. Yay, we got this over with. Tomorrow, um, they're going to go, well, dang, man, that means mortgages are going to go up. My credit card payment's going to go up. The cost of me borrowing to do more business is going to go up. Crap, this is bad. And so tomorrow, I would assume that we will have an equal and opposite movement. So I would look for a 2% down movement tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then Friday. So just my opinion. My opinion doesn't really matter. But you see exactly we had a tight opening 15-minute range. Now we're above overnight high, VWAP, cash open. Hourly mid, everything, AD is 423. Volume is really up, right? So everybody's like, yay, we got this over with. We're so good. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Everybody's feeling real good right now. But we know that it's short-lived, don't we? So let's go over here. Here's our expected move chart. So you see the expected move this week has been outside of the expected move, right? Even though we're back within the expected move, we have darted outside of the expected move. Now we're going back in it. Let's look at our linear regression. Volume, no, our volume profile first. Boy, my computer is just spinning. I think everything's so hot. It's 94 here today in Georgia. All right. So doesn't surprise us at all that we are at the 50% line. What did we say? There's good probability that we are going to fill some gaps, right? With these gaps here. Always possibility going back to the point of control. But for tomorrow, just for tomorrow, I think that, I mean, for the rest of the day, we don't have much longer, but I got a feeling we may pop back down into this area tomorrow. So we'll see, it really doesn't matter. We'll just, it's just fun to follow, you know. So let's look at our linear regression. Linear regression makes a lot of sense when you look at it and puts everything into perspective. So you see, Bobby calls the bear market, Bobby calls recession, and boom, everything is nicely positioned within this beautiful little downward linear regression. I still believe we're going to 4280, probably on or before the 28. I just don't feel it's going to be tomorrow. I don't feel it's going to be a big move up tomorrow. I think there's going to be some reality set in that, hey, markets are bad. And then probably next week, maybe we'll see a trounce back up. All right. So with that said, um, well, I've got stuff all over the place. This is crazy. Um, all right. With that said, so we don't have long before the markets close. Of course, with us trading futures, we can trade after 4 o'clock. It's not a big deal for us. Futures trade a lot. It's just a lot of times that after that 4 o'clock, bail things get a little you know a little haywire because the bid ask spreads and the the volume go down a little bit so let's get our trades in first first thing i'm going to do though is we're going to look at this account over here this is where we always start right markets up big so on market up big i normally like to prefer the 112 to the 11 
uh, one, right? Because, you know, the market's up. So I want to get my short put way out of the money. You see the deltas are negative 59. Let's negate that, shall we? So we've got our positions. We've got our futures positions. And we see that we are, uh, where are we? Futures. Is it just one? Where's it show my, how many I got here? There we go. We're short two futures, right? So what I could do here is go close one of these, close position, and we can um, buy one of them back so that my deltas will go to, what, negative nine? Yeah, negative nine. See how that works? And now I'm delta neutral again. Great, 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 great job. <clears throat> All right, so... So in this account, negative nine delta, negative 233 vega, 93 theta, very nice. So we're gonna go closest to 44 days, or closest 60 days without going over. And we've been putting these down here somewhere. Where, where are these things? Let's see. We say about 25. So if we go to the 3660, 3610, right? That's $17. I can never get these things close. Let's move this down a little bit more. 3,500. What would that go for? 3,650. What am I doing wrong? 3,650. 3,600. 3,250. 3,570. 3,620. What am I doing wrong? I'm buying a put, put long put vertical. That's 50 wide. Why's the one, two here? to there, that's $10. Wow, that's some crazy stuff, y'all. So I don't mind buying one where I've already bought one and selling one where I've sold one. We talked about this yesterday. I don't want to buy one where I've sold one and sell one where I bought one. So I could do this, but six fifty. dollars what in the crap? These spreads, y'all. So let's sell one there. There we go. 3640, 3590, 3610 before. That's crazy. Nothing. Nothing. Jack squad crap. Here and work it up a little bit. Place the order. 1050. Nothing. Jack squad. Come on, y'all. 1075. Believable. I'll be, hey, still nothing. I guess everybody's going to the Hamptons for a long weekend. Is it a holiday weekend? Oh, it's Father's Day, isn't it? Unbelievable, y'all. Am I doing something? I, I keep thinking, you know, my mind ain't working. I just got out of the gym. I've been working out. I've been, when I come out, it was like, oh, I'm seeing something. It's something's wrong. I don't even think my prices are right. Let's, Let's try it again. I'm going to do it the normal way I do. Uh -huh. Long put vertical. There we go. So 44 days, 50 wide. Let's just slide it up here and do it the way we normally do it. So I would never buy one where I've sold one. Right? So let's get the down. Oh, we're two in a running ring of fire. Maybe Johnny Cash. Fifty. That's just weird. How would it go from thirteen fifty to ten? Y'all see what I'm saying? That just doesn't seem right. It just seems like. Seems like the prices are off. All right, let's try it again now. Buying one here, selling one here. Let's process again. Yeah, matter of fact, I just know that's wrong. Let's uh let's just let's delete it. Let's clear the whole thing. Let's go cancel this trade. Well, let's go replace. And let's move these tracks down. Something just doesn't seem, something seems fishy, y'all. Something just seems fishy. So, 
Remember 3640, 35 minutes. Boy, it hurts my ears. Boy, I didn't know I was turned up so much. So let's see, 3620. Let's try this one. 3620, 3570. Look at those wide, wide, wide. Well, there it is. That shaped up a little bit. So that's at 1225. See, that's that's closer to now it says 150. Yeah. Now it says 1225. Weird market show. Stuff is moving. There's 12. We know that ain't a dollar fifty. Let's wait for it to come back. Eleven fifty. There we go. I knew something's wrong. Something just not right. Has anybody else had this problem today? And I don't want to buy something there. 3570, 3520. Let's see. We know that's not 150. That's actually come out, come out. 29 said it 1050. I knew something was wrong. You just kind of do this long enough, you just kind of get feels sometimes, right? You go, well, I don't know about that. Something, something's not right. We know that ain't 150. Let's let it. We know it ain't 95. Come on, what is it actually? Come on. Come on. I don't believe it. Come on. Easy, y'all. 3550. We know that ain't really 95. We know that it's something different. All right, let's go to paper swing. Apparently, Tasty Works is overburdened today. I don't know if y'all are having that problem there. Oh, that's crazy. Nobody else saying it's that. The bid asked for weird to go strikes, but you think the machines would see that? That's how I got screwed by E Trade. Oh, no. When you have an open position, those weird numbers start to come up and your buying power starts to jump back and forth inorganically. I think that's the first time inorganically has been used in our entire room, which is kind of cool. All right, let's go to our thing over here. So we'll go 44 days. Where were we at? 36.50 or so? 36.50 or 35.50. Five fifty. Buy that one. Yeah, look at those bid ass spreads, y'all. No, we may not be able to put a trade on. Thirty-five fifty. Thirty-five hundred. There we go. Ten dollar debt. Now that sounds that sounds like what we want it to be, right? So now let's go pay for that by selling two that are going for about ten dollars. Now look at this, y'all. Look at this crazy, 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 crazy stuff. <sighs> Oh, wow. I, God. I mean, I, I've never experienced this. This is crazy, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to put a trade on or not. Look at this. So you can sell this one for $12.75, but this is $5.25. This is, I mean, this is berserk. This is really. Uh, hey, Bobby. Yeah, <clears throat> what am I doing now? This is, this is it. I'm looking at the 44 day ES. And it, uh -huh. the thirty, the thirty-five sixty, thirty-five ten is marking at ten twenty-five. Okay, that's on ES. So I'm kind of thinking that must be about what it should be on MES. So what's going for ten dollars over here? On well, these? it's whipping around between nine seventy-five and ten fifty. So I'm thinking if you put it in at ten fifty, it might fill. It, it, it's hanging at the ten fifty mark. What now about the what about the naked component? You know, I didn't look at that part, but I'll get it for you real quick. Is it this 3050? That seems about right, doesn't it? Uh, but, but I think it's lower. Lower? Okay. Oh, no. The third, did you say 3250? 3050. You want to do two? Yeah, 3050 is going, yeah, 3050 is going for $10. That sounds about right. Yeah, so uh, I, I think the, I'm going to do the, the 30, the 3020. Yeah. 3020 is at 975 to 1050. I'm going to try this 3080. Let's see what that is. This is 1125 credit. Let's see if I can get it. 3080? Yeah. Okay. I got it. I have it loaded with the 3560, 3510, 3020. Okay. I got filled 1125. Okay. I, I, I feel good with that. Thank you, though, man. I appreciate that. that let me let yeah, Carlos, yeah. Okay. Let's let Carlos see it. All right. Good. So we put us a trade in. So let's think about it for a minute. We put us a trade in, Bob. We're at the Crimson Q. All 
All right, so let's do this. Let's do this two times in the other field. So let's create a duplicate order. Let's go to the IRA. We gotta get our trades in first. It's IRA. So that's this account, right? Think so. And then let's do two tranches. Trump, trump, trump. That's worth 25. There we go. Now, you know, this is the first time I've ever had to then go and, you know, do this backwards in uh, doing in thinkorswim first and go put it in tasty works. That's weird. Let's see if we get the same thing over there. So 35, 50, 3500, and then a 38. 3500, 3550, and a 38. Two of them. Here we go. Yeah, it's right outside of two standard deviations. Two of those. That and we'll get the quantity up. 1950. If I get 1950 for that, I'm gonna puke because I'm gonna be sick because I got cheated on the other side. So it's at 3500, 3550, 3800. Watch if that fails, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call somebody. Rejected. It's not support. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What am I doing? Try the 3030 on the naked puts. Okay. 3560, 3510, 3030. 33rd. There it is, about 950 or so. All right, so let me do my little put debit spread. Here we go. It's marking at 1025, 1050. Yeah. 1025? Well, I, I, the whole thing 3560, 3510, and then the 3030 naked puts are, are stuck at 975, 1025, 1050. I think if you put it in at 1020, now it's at 11. So it's really. I, I got filled there at 1025. You said the 3030? 3030. And I could sell the 3030 at what? Well, the 3030 is at 10 and a quarter to 1075 right now. Let's try that. 1075. We'll work it down to 1050. We'll work it down to 10 and a quarter. It's got a 10 to 10.75 bid ask right now. Okay, there we go. We got filled for 10 and a quarter. So that's fine. All right, so this account now we got negative 22 deltas, 143. So that looks really good. All right, so now we got our trade zone. I've got a trade zone. So I'm going to call this a 112. We're running out of time. Let's see. Running out of time. Let's see what we got here, sweet Bobby. All right, here we go. So micros. This is going to be a one one two something or another something. Or another. I've been digging car lots all day. I don't know how that is. I finally got to pick up our vehicle. And of course, Beth goes, "You know it's got some scratches on it." I said, "Honey, it's a it's a two year old car. Chill out." One one two. What is this? Uh, first. Show out. When you married me, I had a scratch or two. So we said this was a, I put in this one a 3550, 3500, 3550, 3500, and 38 for 1125. Put, put, put. 4.11.25, Joey, one, one, two. I called Thinkorswim yesterday and tried to get my commissions lower, and they're like, listen, Tubbs, you know, screw you, basically, is what they told me. Hey, man, you've got a great rate. Matter of fact, we should probably, your rate is so good, Tubby, we should take it away from you. That's how they were saying. And I said, do you realize who I am? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? No, I didn't know that. So let me tell you something. I'm Beth Gaines. By gosh. That's quite funny. You don't talk to Beth Gaines like that. All right, so there we go. And then let's go put it in another spreadsheet. So 11231. Come on, Bill Bob. Little Bob. Okay. 
strikes in there. Control V, boy. Control V, boy. I've been watching too much Peaky Blinders. It's like I want to go like to the CVS and get me a razor blade and start carrying it in my spam hand. You know what's that? They carry razor blades in their hands. And I go, why didn't I think about that? Because as much fights as I get in, you know, remember when I got in a fight with my neighbor over uh, uh, the mailbox, remember that? Because I befriended him on Facebook. Oh, that was one of my greatest moments. When he threw the mailbox at me, I remember that. Six, two, I'm a fighter, but I don't care. I, I like fighting. Look at people, beat them up. I don't do as much as I used to like back in the day. I know y'all like me all telling about my hey back in the day when Bobby went to jail a couple times and a couple different things. Y'all like those stories. Huh? 112. What I said this was 31st. Oh, y'all listen to this. So my neighbor, my brand new Great Pyrenees that someone gave us the other day. They couldn't keep it. So we said, well, we'll we'll take it. You know, we'll take the Great Pyrenees, a new dog. And so we tried one of those training collars on so that they wouldn't go across the street. And y'all, this dog had so much fur on it, it didn't even phase this dog. I mean, at all. So we had it pretty much trained where it wouldn't go to the road. Well, the one morning, was it this week or last, last week? My kids come in, oh, daddy, 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 Bo's dead. He's outside, he's dead. And I'm like, oh, no, not Bo, the Great Pyrenees, not dead on the side of the road. So someone pulled in and said, listen, we pulled him to the side of the road, you know, got him out of the road and stuff, but he is there. And I'm like, oh, crap. So y'all remember, I've been having to go to Atlanta a lot. So I had to go to Atlanta. So they pulled it to my neighbor that I got in a fight with over the mailbox. Uh, we, uh, they pulled him over, you know, the right of way at the road. And I told Beth, I said, I hate those neighbors, but if you don't mind, would you tell them send them a text and say that hey we will get the dog up later today we called animal control they're supposed to come get it she did that so i get this snooty little message from the neighbor neighbor's wife because he's such a coward he won't contact me and she says bobby will you be a little more proactive in getting that dog out of our yard now, it ain't really in their yard it's on the route uh and I've been in Atlanta all day. And, and remember, I've got people coming to come get the dog. Uh, it's been six hours, and it's going to be a mess after a while. And I said, hell, don't you have a truck? You know, who, do you know someone's got a truck? I ain't got no truck. I had to hire someone to come and to get the dog. But I'm like, and then Beth, Beth went all white trash on them, boy. Beth, and she's like, don't you text my husband. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah. She went Wheezy Jefferson on them, baby. That's what Beth did. So she went all Wheezy Jefferson on them. And I don't know about it. All right. So anyway, I just can't get along with my neighbors. Actually, I can't get along with a lot of people. It's a curse. All right. So what are we talking about? All right. So here we go. Uh, we got our new trade in, right? Everyone's got our new trade in. So now let's, uh, let's close. Let's close the trade. Let's look at our deltas first, shall we? Let's go to the IRA first. What happened? What the crap? Manage all your work and all your stuff. Well, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. You, oh, wait a minute. Sorry, that's wrong. Go to the IRA. Oh, scared me. Hey, how come we eat the way today? What the crap? Take our groups off real quick. Like, I feel like I'm in a hurry. I'm down, Bob. I've got plenty of time. So my deltas are good, y'all. I don't know if I need to change this, especially if my assumption is tomorrow that we're going to go down, right? So theta's nice and good. So let's close the sum. Hello, ladies. Let's find a sum. Negative 224. Up 53. This one we closed yesterday. So I'm going to take that. 
negative 140, up 63, negative 53, up 53, and da 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 da, negative 50, up 70. Well, hello, ladies. 76, 107. Now, I can actually take this one off today. Now, we did lose $59 today. We probably should have closed it yesterday, but we didn't know. So we can close this now, and we're negative deltas. Uh, so, you know, I don't care if I give up a few negative deltas. I'll be closer to delta neutral. So let's close the 112 bear 17, shall we? Shall we? Shall we ever deliver the beautiful, the beautiful river? All right, so then we got to go get six of the 42. I say we got to get six of the 42. Show me my strikes for the love. Six of the 42 nine. Six of the 4290s in the 30 day expiry. It's way up here, baby. I'm picking my drag on. What do y'all think about them showing drag shows and having drag queens at the library? I'm going to tell you something. When I was a kid, I've been all about that. Y'all remember that puppet madam that used to be on Hollywood Squares? I mean, she was the first drag queen I remember. I liked her good enough. So let's try one Come on, baby. Phil Daddy. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Dollar 25 credit. Send them around that. 112 Bear 17th. Dollar 25 credit. So that's in the which one is? Oh, here we go. Dollar 25. Dollar twenty-five credits, so make it a negative dollar point two five. So we got a dollar and eleven coming to daddy. Six, fifteen, twenty-two. The Ides of June. So we made, is that right? Two hundred and fifty-two was our initial credit. Unbelievable. Look at us, y'all. I mean, I could even buy my sister's food if she wanted to go out and eat with us. Because she's a drug dealer, so she normally buys that food. She's got all the money. Uh, she got all the drugs and stuff. And then I'm just a lowly old retired trader, teaching a little college class every now and then while she's running a drug empire. All right, so we made 253.47. Let's go put that in our pipe and smoke. 253.47. And remember when Matt was like, you know, Bobby, don't sell calls. And I thought, Matt, you got to sell calls, baby. What was it? 253.47. And I was like, Matt, you know, poor old Matt. 253.47. Look at us, y'all. Oh, behave. Hurrah. 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 Look at that. $438. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's go to the other account. Let's close something over there. See if we got something else that's kind of special. We still got 30 seconds for the market close. Oh, can I find a winner? Bear seven. We closed this one yesterday. Over here. I'm not going to be confined to some stinking clock. I'll trade when I want to. There's a 62 percenter. There's a 76. Well, hello, ladies. Let's see. All things equal. How many days we got left? 44, 44. Man, I'll close. Oh, that was loud. Unbelievable. That's going to ring a while. It's going to leave a mark. Oh, my eardrums. We, we rarely trade the clothes like this. That's kind of cool, huh? All right, so let's close this baby. 112, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to create a closing order. Bobby, I thought the market closed at four. Well, it does. You, you know, but we trade futures. We got all these extra hours we get. So we got to close 3170 puts. At 41 days or 44 days, 3170. Y'all remember? Come remember that. 31. I don't forget what it was. 3170. 3170. I'm on so many medications. I started another one today. Lira Mur or something. Lira. What was that strike? 30. Lira. Lira Meyer. Lira Mur. Lira Mur. That's probably got me all in a tizzy. 3170. Let's buy two of them. Oh, two of those. 
350 debit. Oh, behave. Get me out. Y'all don't go to the Hamptons just yet. Little Bobby's in here trying to trying to make a living, watching everybody else having fun. We gotta pay a little bit more. 375. Let's pay him some more. This is like, hey man, I'm off work now, baby. I come in there with Bobby. With Bobby. Bobby. Jack Nabbit. Watch just not have enough liquidity to get out of this. I'll move it a little bit. It's going to be $4. $4. Dollars. Okay, we know we got a probably a credit of $11. Let's just get a little profit here. We got to get, we got to fill our spreadsheet up. With a profitable day. Look at there. Everybody's gone to their mama's house and ate biscuits and cornbread. Was y'all's mama a good cook? My mama never was. I grew up eating Chef RD straight out of the can, not even cooked, and pot pies. Y'all remember those little pot pies you could get for a quarter back in the day? Oh, man. If when we got a microwave, I remember Daddy got Mama a microwave for Christmas. And, you know, you think about that. And you go, that sounds good. But ladies don't want stuff to cook with for Christmas. So Mama acted like she enjoyed it. Though. And I guess she did. But we all enjoyed it. It really, it really wasn't for Mama. It was for all of us. Man, we thought we were something. Until one day, we got some Arby's. I don't know if y'all got Arby's from y'all. America's Roast Beef, yes, sir. It's from, started in Atlanta. I may, I may not be able to find anything to close, y'all. I ain't going over $5. I'll go take my ball and I'll go my hat. If you ain't feeling that, Jack, I'll just... This was a horrible cook, PT. So it, they had aluminum foil on theirs, right? On their sandwiches. And I need to heat it up. And I put it in the aluminum foil wrapper in the microwave. And y'all, it was the prettiest laser show you ever seen in your life. And mama's like, you can't eat that. And I'm like, oh, mama, I'm so hungry. Please let me eat that. And she wouldn't let me eat it. And I was like, oh, no. This was the worst days of my life because I was so hungry. And mama made me throw that perfectly good beef and cheddar out. So we're not going to get a profit here, Dag Nabbit. Dag Nabbit. All right, let's enter our uh, profit and all. Let's do our Greeks. We'll cut like, see if we need any adjustments in all this chocolate. All right, so what are we doing? Let's go to this account. Let's go to the IRA first. Let's see if we're down or up money today. Six, fifteen, and twenty-two. Let's see if we got to make any adjustments going into tomorrow. So today we are. Let me figure it on my phone. Yeah, come on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Eyes. Ninety-nine. Oh, fifty-six, seventy-seven. Praise the Lord Jesus. Who's drawing on my screen? Ash, quit drawing on my damn screen. Sorry. Curses. Why is Ash drawing on my screen? 99034. That looks good. About $1,500. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's see what our drinks are in the IRA. Ash, are you tormenting me by drawing on my screen or just showing that you can draw a little stuff on my screen? Look at that. He got all the stuff on. All right. So my deltas is negative 604. Can y'all see that or is it just me? Again, it may be hallucinations from me taking a few Levermore medicine. No, but, we can see it, Bobby. Okay. I didn't know, Rick, if I was just, you know, I was losing this something. Jeez, 123 cents. Ash, why are you drawing on my screen? 123.95. How'd my delta go down so much? 123.95. The heck happened? The crap. Oh, that's a wrong account. Dad, nab it. Here we go. Negative 57.77. Negative 57.77. That's close, right? 57.77. So I'm short 57 shares of that. And thing is 221.49. That, that's right. 221.49. There we go. 21.49. So 0.22, that's fine. And our buying power used is driving me crazy. Uh 39 161. 
So we're using 39%, we should be at about 35%. It says no adjustment. So I'm good with that, especially when my assumption is that we're going to be down tomorrow, right? I, I don't mind having the negative 57 delta. So let's keep those. All right, let's go to the other one. See if we need to make any adjustments there. The Crimson account. So we're negative 6092. So we'll start net lift first. 615. Hello, ladies. All right, so this account, we are at 26. 26, 5, 18, 39. That's more like it, baby. Had a way to get back in the ball game, Bob. Oh, Bob, oh, Bob. World's worst trader. Negative 61, 62. All right, and uh-oh, uh-oh. My fader. One, two, two, seven, seven. And generally, when I don't follow that, I get in trouble. Normally, I get in trouble. So I really need to follow that. So we'll do that. So, and my buying power is 16,458. There you go. Way to go down. 16,458. Right. So it says I am too short. I need to be long. So how can I get loan as I can close a future? Let's see what we got here. Where's my futures at? My futures. Puts, 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 calls, 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 puts, 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 calls. Here we go. Create closing order. Buy three of them back. I don't buy three of them back. We'll buy one of them back. Yep. The field. To dump, to dump, to dump. So we'll go back, so we're filled on that one. And so that makes my creeks look like one. Yeah, if I don't follow that, I generally get in trouble. So even though I think we need to be short tomorrow, better I listen to my thing. So we're still short, maybe 1250. So let's put that in. Ta-da. No adjustment, Bob. And, you know, I got to work on bringing this down. But I think, you know, if we get a couple of days of fall going down, it'll we'll be fine there. All right, who's got questions? Questions, comments? Oh, and by the way, my sister's a drug dealer. Y'all know she's a pharmacist. She's a legitimate drug dealer. Not like the rest of the members of my family. All right. Any questions, comments? Are you considering in the spreadsheets the profit and loss by the futures contracts? You know, in the, I mean, no, I mean, I guess I should, you know, somewhere account for it, but I'm not. And I'll tell you this, Gerardo, this, and God is my witness, and you'll see this is, I would be better off if I wouldn't trade futures, if I wouldn't do the, the futures, really. I think overall, if I just not mess with that and just put on my trades, right? It gets me in trouble. I don't even want to look at it. But yeah, I should. What positive delta is too high or should it pretty much be always be negative? Well, here's what we do, Brian. Uh, our little, if you're using our little spreadsheet, right? So whatever your account balance is. So if you've got a, I don't know what size account you are, but let's say you've got a $25,000 account. Get it, 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 get it. So you've got a $25,000 account. Come on. It's my rainbow color. 25. What in the crap? Why am I not writing? I got a feeling it's because Ash has sabotaged my whole thing here. All right, we'll do this. All right, here we go. So let me take this off. Give me a second. Okay, so here we go. So let's say you've got a 25, the oh, crap. My thing ain't working. Ash, there we go, 25. So let's say you've got a $25,000 account, okay? Here's what my rule is. Now you don't have to follow my rule, but I, want, I don't wanna to be too far short or too far long. So take your 25,000 
and multiply it by 0 0.0015. That's your delta number, 37.5. So if your deltas are greater than, greater than, good crap, greater than 37.5, then you're too long. If it's less than negative 37.5, then you're too short. In my opinion, when I try to keep myself delta neutral. So if you've got negative 50 deltas, you're too short, according to my calculations. If you've got 0.40, you're too long. So you need to do something to you know, get it more delta neutral. So what I try to do is keep it delta neutral and let theta work. But I will tell you this, I will close those features that I have on and you'll see them when I close them, it'll, it'll be probably a thousand or two thousand dollar loss. And you'll go, Bobby, you would have been so much better if you had never put those features on to begin with. So if y'all are not doing it, y'all are the smart ones. I do it because I get a little freaked out that my deltas are a little too far off. So I start, you know, dealing in the futures market and I've never been good at that. So, you know, so our, our counts are up big today. You know, the problem is my account would be up a lot more if I were not sitting on these uh, on these futures, right? Because I've got these short futures, right? I'm short two futures. I lost $820 today on those futures. I'm down $406 putting them on. And that's what I told you. You know, when I put them on, they normally will lose. They just do. So we're up $660 today. I'd have been up another, you know, $800. We'd have been at $1,400 today. Had I not put them on. So I, I go between this, should I should I do that or should I just put my trades on? And I don't think I found an answer yet on what's the best thing for me to do. Because literally when I have fewer futures, actual futures on, not options, I do better. I just do. But I get nervous and you see the countdown $5,000 in a day and you go, oh no, what if it goes down? But then when we go back, we analyze our trades, everything looks fine. So, but I'm thinking tomorrow that we're going to have a big down day. And, and see here again, Stacy brought this up earlier today. She's like, Bobby, news is noise, baby. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I ought to look at. And I ought to just probably take these futures off and just let Theta do its thing. But I make horrible mistakes with it. So if y'all don't follow my mistakes with the futures, y'all just keep doing your trades. Forget about the futures. Don't follow me on those. Just do your one, one, ones and one, one, twos. Probably be better off. Yeah, Carlos says one, one, two has normally a positive net delta. So eventually you need to sell a future when you get, you know, plus 50 deltas or so. Yeah, yeah, don't overdo. That's the thing. I and mean, that's what I overdo, right? I'll over hedge. You know, if you get too long on something, you know, yeah, you can sell a future here and there, you know. But I'm telling you, I, overall, if we were to look at how much money I've made in actual trading futures, huh, oh, it's horrible. It's just where you make the money is in the selling of the options. And so I'd be a lot better off if I didn't dabble in it. Now, why do I do that? Why do I insist on the delta neutrality? I don't know. When in actuality, probably just keeping the positive deltas with a one one two trade is the way to go. Really is. And then if I need negative deltas, well, what can I do? Well, if one of my short naked components of the 111 or 112 get to 50% uh, profit, take it off and just leave the put debit spread on. That's a negative delta trade to put debit spread on. So y'all kind of figure, yeah, it says take one of the two naked puts off. Yeah, there you go. And that takes off long deltas, right? and it makes you a little more short. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. I don't necessarily recommend doing the futures. And again, watch this other account. You think I've lost money in this account with it, watch. Here's the other account, stupid old Bobby, comes over here and he's got futures over here. He's negative four. Well, he just lost $1,045 today. He's down $395 on it, but the account made $1,100 today, but it could have made another $1,000. Do y'all see the, see the 
conundrum, right? You, you see the paradox or whatever it is. I'm not good with all those fancy words, but you see what the problem is. You know, you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. So I have figured out over time, I'm better if I don't do the future. Just put on my trades. And I think probably if we didn't even look at our deltas, you know, we need to go back to the care of the super trader that he's care like, oh, I don't even look at my deltas. What are you talking about? No. No. Put my trades on. Care about the overall portfolio deltas? But no. Bobby has to be, you know, Mr. Einstein, Mr. Scientist, Mr. Oh, we got to keep this thing perfectly locked in, you know. So I don't know if I'm right or I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out, right? But I want y'all to think about it. Should we or should we not uh, do that? Well, is uh, yeah, Carlos, I'll be good tomorrow when the market drops. And I believe if the market was up 2% today, I got a feeling we're going to be down one and a half, two, two and a half percent tomorrow. I really do. I just got that feeling. Uh, is Vega adjustment the same choices as Delta adjustment? Now, Ed, remember, if we're doing a Vega adjustment, we the, the Vega adjustment in the spreadsheet that I've got hidden now because I'm not using it is to keep negative one deltas for negative two Vegas, right? So that's the ratio that Tasty Trade come up with. You know, so if you're short uh, 400 Vega in your camp, then you should have negative 200 deltas in your account. The reason being, when the market goes up, you're going to lose money on the short deltas, but volatility will go down, so you'll make money on your short beta. Market goes down, you make money on your short deltas, volatility goes up, you lose money on your short beta. And it's just a, it's a continual adjustment. So, you know, I wish there was a way, y'all. I wish your long delta and short 228 theta. I doubt that. Man. I bet you're short 228 theta. You said theta. Right? Yeah, so that would say that in the tasty trade world, you're, you're way too long. Yeah. You can't figure out how to get Vega up without taking off negative. Yeah. Well, the one way that you could do it is you could buy you could buy um, VIX calls, right? Which is one of the hedges that we use. The only problem is you really can't do it now. Well, I mean, it'll adjust your Vega. Ed, and here's the thing. Y'all are going to sit here and go, here's what Bobby does. Bobby overly complicates stuff. I have a history of overcomplicating stuff. So y'all seen the spreadsheets, Rick seen the spreadsheets, and I'd, I'd have 40 pages on it, and I'll just keep adding pages. And finally, I've got my spreadsheet ripped down to nothing, then, right? I got my four or five tabs. And if I can just stay where I'm at, four or five tabs, and just you know keep doing the thing, but no, I just overanalyze sometimes. So if my, rec my recommendation to you guys is this, manage your theta, right? Don't have too much theta. You know, I'd say probably tenth of a percent, half a percent of your net lit in theta. And then don't go too far over on your buying power. You know, over 50% most of the time. In a smaller account, you may have to go a little more. But you just don't want to blow up your account. And then I don't know that you need to do delta adjustments on the 111 and 112 account uh, trades. Now, how do we back test it? I don't know how we back. I don't know how I would, you know, figure out how to back test. Uh, do we need to do the futures to keep Delta neutral? Blah blah blah. Probably not on one 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 two trade. So we'll see. Uh, but you got to figure out what you're going to do. I am having a problem. I'm having a problem thinking whether I want to be short or long futures. Chances are, and, and the problem is, the problem is that, what is the problem? I what he's going to say. It's like a brilliant moment. It's almost like, you know, a Thomas Edison moment. God, it's good to what was it? Oh, it's almost like we found a trade that has a 98% probability of success, right? And a trade that's been profitable during the first, 
you know, six months of this year. Why the crap do you want to care about your dentists? Just put your trade on. Let, the, let them work 98%, you know, and, uh, you know, be done with it. Yeah, Gerardo says, I'd love to be long before it goes up, short before sinking. And we all would. And, you know, that's like, you know, Stacy made the point today. Hey, I knew pretty much what the market was going to do today. We're going to get a knee-jerk reaction to the upside. This is exactly what I said. And then what's going to happen tomorrow? We're going to have buyer's remorse. Oh, no. We need to go. And I, and I just really believe that's what – but I didn't believe it enough to take my heads off today because I thought, what if the market tanks? You know, but you trade on, let your trade work. And, and just don't know. All right, guys, great session today. So y'all know I'm still working on it. Right? I'm still saying, should I be short future or should I not? You know, uh, probably better just put your trades on. All right, guys, have a great day. See you tomorrow.